Hi, welcome back to another video. In this video, I, I've had a few comments about people asking me about my dipoles, if I've been talking with Skip with my dipoles. And currently, those are the only two antennas I use are my two dot homemade dipoles that I built. So what I thought I would do is show you how I have them set up outside and then show you the SWR readings, how well tuned they are. So um, let's go outside and I'll show you how they're hooked up. Running out the office window here, I have two antennas or connected to two dipoles. My first one is under the eaves of the roof here, as you can see. And this one points in a east west direction. And then the other one, you can see a line going up to the PVC dipole that's um, up on the roof and the roof of the RV here. Looking above the antenna, you can see how I have it rested on the roof of the house and the roof of the RV. And this one faces in a north-south direction. Uh, the nice thing about this antenna is it's very easy to disconnect here and you could lay it on top of the RV if you chose, if you went camping somewhere, and um, you could try talking some skip. All right, let me show you the SWR readings I have on how well tuned I have these. So the first one we'll check is on the Road Talker 40. So let's set this and check our SWR on channel one. As you can see, barely moves at all. All right, let's try channel 40. Do the same thing here. And again, uh, just barely moves. All right. On the SWR we just checked on the Road Talker, that's the antenna that's up on the roof of the RV and the house. Now the TRC-465 is the one that's under the roof eaves of the house. So let's go ahead and check the SWR on there. So let's put it on here, adjust it. and just barely moves maybe a notch all right let's try channel 40. do the same thing here again all right and again maybe moves a notch there so there you have it. That's how I have my dipoles hooked up. Um, so far it's done pretty well for me. I've made, I've made quite a few contacts and I'm only running stock here. I have no modifications to my radios. And if you look outside, they're probably, the antennas are probably anywhere from eight to 10 feet above the ground. And the elevation where I live is close to 5,000 feet. I don't know if that makes a difference, but um, someone mentioned in one of my comments that um, the altitude might help me do better with skip. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.